super excited about this because today is called new forms of communication to increase engagement and conversion. And you guys have possibly heard me talk about some of this before, but this is brand new presentation. I literally just created it for Toyota Manufacturer. A lot of you know that I work with Toyota Corporate in the Chicago region. So this was a special um, PowerPoint that I built specifically for them. So I'm going to get started. But Travis, your flair, you, 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 it's like you're like a ghost. You know what I mean? Like a poltergeist or something right now. It's super bright, but it's all good. <laughs> <laughs> There's a window directly in front of me. Okay, no. Oh, he does speak. Okay, good. Okay, long as you're real. <laughs> All right, good. All right, we're going to get started right now. Uh, put your guys on mute. And just to remind you, once I share my screen, I can't see you because I'm on a laptop. Okay, so I don't have that little box. So if, if, you, if you like say something or you're pointing, I can't hear you. So if you need to talk to me or ask a question, unmute yourself and just talk. Okay, so on three, two, one. We are going live. Mastering new forms of communication to increase engagement and conversion. So I apologize. There's a lot of Toyota stuff here. It's not just for Toyota dealerships. I created this for Toyota manufacturer, but this is going to work for you guys as well. I'm going to skip some stuff because you already know who I am. All right. I want to let you all know that part of the data that we're going to show you today is coming from a massive company called Podium. Uh, so Podium has 7,000 dealerships in their network. And the last 30 days, auto dealers working with Podium sent over 1,058,000 bulk text messages. In the last 30 days, auto dealers working with Podium have received more than 4 million leads and sent more than 5.8 million messages in customer communications. So again, the reason why you're seeing this, it's not just dealer synergy that's giving you the data. Uh, this is a major company. They have more than 7,000 clients. They have actually 110,000 clients, but 7,000 of them are car dealerships. So the Podium specializes in AI and in text messaging. So now let's get into it. All right. Internet sales are the new showroom. This is Refresher. 99% of Americans go online before they step into the dealership. 90% of all transactions start on search engines. Okay. You're not the only dealership trying to sell cars. JD Power says that the, that the average prospect is searching nine to 11 dealerships other than your store. NADA says that the average buying cycle is over 90 days on a new car. Okay. But here's the, here's the problem. The average dealership is going to email, phone call, and text message, mostly without training, strategy, or consistency. Okay, so the question is, what is the best follow-up and engagement strategy? Well, first and foremost, you have to respond quicker and better through those conventional means. But in addition to that, you must utilize all forms of communication to engage and convert prospects. Okay, so this is the fun part. Uh, this now, I'm going to list all the different things that you should be doing and you could be doing that I want you to do. Okay, so artificial intelligence or, or conversational AI. Again, utilizing artificial intelligence or conversational AI, emailing, phone calls, text messaging, video email slash video text messaging, Video conferencing, like Apple FaceTime, Skype, Zoom, things like that. Okay, social media direct messages, DMs, Facebook DM, Instagram DM, LinkedIn DM, TikTok DM, WhatsApp DM, XDM, and Snapchat DM. You could use memes, animated GIFs, e-cards, handwritten letters and notes, voice memos, or soundboards. Gifts like edible arrangements, flowers, food, swag, merchandise, gift cards. You could use Cash App, Venmo, or PayPal. Yes, this is crazy. This would be really interesting conversation today. Upload CSV files and target on social media and retarget on social media. This is, I don't mean for prospects. I'm talking about for leads, to, to engage leads. Okay, now, before you can run, you need to walk. And before you can walk, you must know how to crawl, right? So what does this mean? Well, potential communication mediums for follow-up and engagement. The memes, animated GIFs, e-cards, handwritten notes, all this stuff that I just went over with you guys, right? Okay, this is the important thing to know. 
Too many times, dealers tend to just go through basic motions without strategy, training, and consistency. Average dealers' reps think the mission is attempts when it's really engagement. Guys, what I mean by this is that a lot of times salespeople or BDC reps, they think they're doing their job when they're going through the CRM and they just make a random phone call attempt. Or when they look at the lead in the CRM and there's no phone number, like, ah, there's no phone number, I'm just going to email, and then they skip it. That's not enough. This is not a, this is not slave labor. This is not like a, a factory. You know what I mean? Like it's not, this is a sales relationship thing. What you've got to remember is it's about engagement. Okay. So make sure that you and your team are trained, certified, and truly understand how each and every communication medium works. And all of these tools are set up correctly you know, and they're recently updated in your system. So let's break down each of these resources for communication. Okay, I'm going to explain what things are. Artificial intelligence or conversational AI. What is conversational AI versus bot technology? Okay, so chat GPT breakthrough ability to sort through enormous amounts of data, data sources. AI has the ability to learn. Very well tailored today for text-based asynchronous communication. Voice is the next horizon. OK, so right now, AI is mostly like typing in chat, but AI is going to be really the next evolution is going to be voice. Just talking like how you have Apple, Siri or Google Home or Amazon Alexa, you know, those are like like attendance right now. They're like convenience. But can you imagine when AI gets fully integrated with voice technology? It's going to be just mind blowing. Okay, artificial intelligence, AI enables machines to learn from experience and adapt to new inputs by analyzing large amounts of data and identifying patterns. These patterns help AI systems model their own decision making. The difference between conversational AI and chatbots can sometimes be very subtle. Generally, a chatbot focuses on automating specific tasks, if then logic. Conversational AI is a broader term, and usually it focuses on sim uh, simulating human conversations in a more advanced way, okay? AI equals engagement, which is what Dealer Synergy is all about. Engagement, engagement, engagement. Okay, so here's some examples. Artificial intelligence or conversational AI. Okay, so let's say somebody's searching for vehicles. This is a prospect. Hey, I'm looking for a black F-150, at 1.51 you know, uh, p.m. And look, within less than a minute, the AI kicked in and it and, and sounds like it's a human being. Hey, Robert, Jerry from Podium Motors here. We have a few black F-150s that might interest you. Uh, tw number one, 2016 Ford F-150 Platinum 4x4 Super Crew, shadow black, the price. And then it has a link directly into that. Then it's got number two, 2018 F-150 details, pricing, and then a link to it. And then a third choice. Now, here's a cool part. Do any of these things catch your eye or is there something specific you're looking for in a truck? So think about this, guys. I think this is pretty crazy. Like, this is better than what human beings are doing. Respectfully, this might be a better response than what some of you or most of you that are watching this webinar are doing. Somebody just types in, hey, I'm looking for a black F-150 and bam, within a minute, something this detailed, this professional, this specific is done by artificial intelligence. Here's a couple other examples. Vehicle feature questions. Uh, what's the tow capacity of a black label and can you pro and con versus the Lexus GX Luxury Plus? That's a, that's a legitimate, like real question. Thanks for texting us. We will be with you shortly. In the meantime, please save our contact information for quick replies. Okay, then boom. Hi, uh, this is Hannah from ABC Motors. The 2023 Lincoln Navigator Black Label has maximum towing capacity of 8,700 pounds when properly equipped. As for comparison with the Lexus GX Luxury Plus, here are some key points. Pros of the Lincoln Navigator, boom. And it gives you all the pros and then the cons. And then do you have any specific features you're interested in, in comparing? So this is, this is not only giving them the answer, but this is continuing the conversation. Over here, how many miles are on the Lariat? Does it, does it have leather seats? The Ford F-150 Lariat Super Crew has 46,000 miles on it. And yes, it does come with leather seats. It's a great mix of comfort and durability. Look at that. That is 
artificial intelligence, being able to put that in, it's a great mix of comfort and durability. Are there any other features you're particularly interested in? And then the question to continue the conversation and further qualify. Again, respectfully, some of these AI responses are better than, than human being responses. They're faster and they're professional and they're on point and they're detailed and they're structurally correct. So as you see, utilizing AI, what's the benefit for that in final people? Well, if AI, if artificial intelligence is properly set up within the organization, it allows you, the human resources, to work on other things and other people. So AI is now like an army of you. So it's not instead of, do you understand this? So I never, th I never say, nor do I believe that it's a question, do we do AI and not have people? It's both. You know what I mean? It's both. I think that dealerships should have conversational AI and they should also have human resources doing their things. So you're able to kill more birds with just one stone. Uh, does it have a clean you know, history? Do you have a Carfax? Boom, as you could see right there. Okay. Artificial intelligence, conversational AI, speed to lead. Being the first one to respond, especially over SMS text message, improves conversion rates. So at, what you've got to understand is that you have lead, like this is leads converted versus times of response. So less than five minutes. As you see here, the faster the response time, the more cars you sell and the faster the closing ratio. So again, this is what NADA says. This is what Deal with Synergy has been preaching to you all the time. And, and again, artificial intelligence is instantaneous. It's always instantaneous. So one of the other reasons to have conversational AI and artificial intelligence is it guarantees instantaneous re response times, which will therefore incur a higher closing ratio. Now, we're off AI. Let's go to email. Pros and cons. Okay, on average, emails are only a two to four percent read open rate. Only seven percent of communication, which means it's the least valuable form of communication, but it's free and it can be automated. Okay, pro tip: I would create an amazing library of email templates and utilize Chat GPT to create them. Pro tip number two: I would highly recommend customizing email communications with either HTML graphics or video. Okay, that's email. Phone calls. 37% of consumers prefer to be reached via phone call. Pro tip, make sure you optimize the full call experience for customers. That means mastering the dealer synergy inbound phone call process protocol, mastering the dealer synergy outbound phone call process protocol, because it's not just making a phone call, it's making the best phone call you could make, being the most strategic, being the most successful in the phone call. What does that mean? That means making the most amount of appointments and selling the most amount of cars from your phone calls that you take or make. Now, consumer phone call preferences, 53% prefer calls when reaching out for a repeat purchase. 63% of people prefer calls when reaching out to a business for the first time. 66% prefer calls when reaching out to a business for customer support. Now, text messaging. Over 6 billion text messages are sent every day. The response rate for text is 45%, whereas for email, it's only my data is 2 to 4%. Uh, Podium put 6%. So uh, let's just put the middle, 4%. Okay, text messages average a 7% click-through rate. Podium, mine uh, at Dealer Synergy um, is very, very on point. So I'm okay with that number. Okay, now 75% of consumers want to receive text-based marketing offers with businesses, brands they have opted into. That's a great number. Okay, text messages have a 98% open rate. That is mind-blowing, guys. 98% of text messages get open. And 95 of those are open within three minutes of receiving them. That's crazy. Again, 95% of text messages are open within three minutes of receiving them. Do you see how powerful text messaging is? 58% um, of consumers said that they responded to a company's missed call with a text message, but couldn't get through to anyone that way. Okay, let me let me break this down right here because this is pretty exciting stuff to me. I'm like a geek, right? What they're saying is almost 60% of people that you call or reach out to, right, try to respond to you with a text message, but couldn't get through to anyone that way. That means... That when you call somebody, 
almost 60% of those people will, will try to respond to you with a text message because they don't know if you're on a cell phone or what. So if you're using a dealership line, which most of you do, if you don't have text message capabilities enabled on your dealership phone line, you're screwed. You understand me? So you all should talk to your, your managers or your owner and make sure that the phone number that you're like, obviously, if you text somebody from your cell phone, which you shouldn't do, but if you did, then if they text you back, uh, I mean, sorry, if you called somebody from your cell phone, from your personal cell phone, uh, you know, and they text you back, you get it because it's your cell phone. But you need to make sure that whatever phone line that you're calling prospects on has text message enabled. And you might be surprised, but there's a lot of phone numbers and there's a lot of dealerships that their landlines or their regular phone numbers are not text message enabled. That's a problem. So just benchmark that and make sure that, that you're not in that situation. Unlock a wealth of wisdom at the Rich Thinking 2024 conference. Join coach Michael Burke, Brian Gawkey, Neil Bakshi, Amber Ybarra, and L.A. Williams as they share their secrets to success. Learn from the best and transform your thinking with practical strategies and powerful insights. Don't miss out. Get your tickets now for September 6th in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Visit richthinking.org to secure your spot and unlock the wealth of wisdom that should be yours. Be there. 66% of consumers believe texting makes it more convenient to work with the local business. Text messaging for service updates provides a 26-point CSI score increase over phone call updates, non-premium BAMs. That's from J.D. Power. Texting during the sales process results in a 27-point increase in SSI over dealers who communicate via email. So this is just CSI and customer satisfaction saying that text message is the best medium for that. Pro tip, start investing in text message marketing where you can reach your customer base right at their fingertips. Send promotions once a month and on special holidays. 36% of consumers expect promotional messages from a business once a month. 37% say text marketing is the most important consideration when they think about where to spend their money. And 68%, almost 70% want to receive seasonal discounts on goods and services over, deck, over text from local businesses. That's a huge thing. Okay, now texting, text messaging by the numbers. 98% of text messages average open rate. 95% of texts are open with three minutes. 209% higher response rate than phone, email, or Facebook. Guys, look at that. Text messaging has a 209% higher response rate than phone calls, emails, or social media. 65.6% of consumers think texting makes working with local businesses more convenient. 75% of consumers are okay with receiving texts from brands after they opted in. 1.8 times more preferred than any other communication medium. Okay. 10 times higher coupon uh, um, redemption through text than other types of coupons. Okay, next section is video email, video text messages. Video email increases read open rates up to 300%. Use video 100% of the time after engagement, especially for appointment confirmations. Increases appointment shows 75%. So let me just break this down. Point one, if you use video email, right, you're going to have a 300% plus increase in engagement over regular just static email. Second, use video, this is my, my advice, use video 100% of the time after engagement. So I'm not saying that you need to use video before you get somebody to respond to you, but the second that you have engagement, guys, I know this might sound crazy, but I'm dead serious. I, Sean Bradley, personally expect and suggest that you guys only use video. Like, why would you, use, why would you ever just text somebody or why would you ever just send a regular email once you've engaged? When, once you're in engagement status, that's the highest level. 31 days contacted or 32 to 90 contacted. When you have contact or engagement, I mean, Jesus, you guys know this. It takes you sometimes days, weeks, or months 
to make the first engagement. So once you finally get the engagement, you want to maximize that opportunity. You want to maximize every communication. And remember, video, you have sight, sound, motion, and emotion. It is the highest form of communication. It's the highest form of comprehension. But I would absolutely use video for appointment confirmations and price quotes 100% of the time, okay? Create a video email automation strategy for your CRM. Now, as you see here, here's an example of video email, video text messaging in Vin Solutions. So this is the custom processes. Now, if you're not on Vin Solutions, it doesn't matter what CRM you're on. Vin Solutions, Drive Centric, Dealer Socket, E-Leads, Promax, Reynolds and Reynolds, whatever it might be, we all have a place to put action plans, okay? So here's an example of a video email. Okay, as you see here, we're in Vin Solutions. To my left, you're gonna have your processes. This is uh, one of the processes. This is T got your keys, 31 days phone process. And as you see here, this has got a video email. Uh, this is done in HTML with BombBomb. So this is BombBomb integration right here. It looks like it's a header on a website, but this is just the template of the bomb bomb video email. You see this right here? This gives the illusion that this is a video. It's not, it's an animated GIF. Okay, you see this right here? It says play 17 second video. This increases the click throughs because it's only 17 seconds. Then you still have the standard text, plain text that's in here. But notice this is really important that it's got merge codes. So the merge codes that are right here and right here actually work. But here's the cool part about it. When you're done with this, right? Um, when, when a prospect gets this, they're not gonna see all. This is the back end of your CRM. They're gonna see this. And- Hello, my name is Tiana Ortiz from tgetyourpeace.com. I'm a salesperson here at Patriot View at GMC. And if you're in need of a fun, fast, and easy car buying experience, let me know. 610-607-3231 or find me on my website, tgetyourpeace.com. See you soon. Okay, so that kind of gives an example. Here's another one. Okay, as you see from LA, this is an example of a video text message you could use or a video email. Hey, what's happening, Sean? This is L.A. Williams, your product specialist here at Synergy Motors. Um, looking forward to connecting with you. We had a great conversation earlier today, and we said we would get together tomorrow at 915. So, again, I just wanted to shoot a quick video for you, put a face to the voice. Um, so I'm looking forward to connecting tomorrow at 915. As I said, if there's anything that I can do in the meantime to make your visit more pleasurable, please just let me know. I can be reached at 267 551 16 and I'll be waiting tomorrow with uh, your vehicle for you and your beautiful wife, Karen. All right. Thanks so much. Have a good one. Okay. So as you can see, this is now, this is going to be an example of a video uh, email. Okay. So the first one was a video email, video text message. Uh, like strategy so you could see what it looks like in the CRM, how it works. The second one was just LA, give an example. Here is an automatic video that we program as the day one. So when somebody submits an internet purchase request at Chrysler of Lawrenceburg, you know, the automatic video email template, the dealership doesn't have to do anything. This goes out. My name is Nelson Lyles. I'm the general manager here at Chrysler of Lawrenceburg. As the general manager, I understand that you want to strive to get the very best price and structure that you possibly can on your very next vehicle purchase. The factory, the manufacturer, has incentives and discounts that they do not readily make available to the public. If you currently have a non-Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram product, you have up to an additional $750 that can be used toward your next purchase. If you are a first responder or someone that is in our active military or reserves, a teacher, a medical professional, up to $500 toward the purchase of your next vehicle. We have lease pull ahead money that's available. 
If you're currently in a Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram lease and you're within six months of maturation, you have the ability to come in, re-lease, or go into a retail purchase on a vehicle of your choice and receive compensation for those existing six months. If you are a recent college grad from a two-year or greater program, you have an additional incentive up to $1,000. In addition to that, we will make your first car payment up to $750. Our most valuable people in our community are our senior citizens. And with that being known, we provide them with their first car payment up to $750. Hi, my name is Kristen Perry. I'm the finance director here at Chrysler of Lawrenceburg. I will be the one to go over all of your interest rates, your financing amounts, what bank that you're going to be going through, trying to get the best deal for you when it comes to all of those specific matters. What I would talk to you about is service contracts, being able to get your vehicle fully protected. If something were to go wrong, you can take it to not only our dealership here in our service bays, but any dealership that's close to you. These service contracts will make sure that you are completely covered with whatever service department you take it to, they are able to get that. So guys, I don't want to watch the whole video just because we only have a certain amount of time, but you get it. This is a video uh, email for uh, the initial response. Okay, now here is the dead deal video. This is really amazing in my opinion because every time somebody deads a lead, you could have this pop up automatically in whatever CRM. Here's a quick example. Hi, Bill O'Hara from Ziegler BMW of Orland Park. I'm the general manager, and I know you recently inquired in our internet department about buying a vehicle and I heard that you weren't interested in a vehicle anymore and I just wanted to make sure that we did everything possible to fill all your needs or if we found the car or we didn't find a car if there's something else that I could do price wise or find the proper vehicle for you. I'm here to let you know that you're welcome to contact me and my email is billohara at zagteam.com or you can call me direct at 708-460-4545. Thank you. Okay, so now video conferencing. Take advantage of Apple, FaceTime, and Skype. Make sure you have a plan and you're prepared. Training and practicing either with someone or even by yourself will dramatically enhance your success. Don't get discouraged. Remember, this is a numbers game. Okay, there are numerous strategies on how to engage a prospect. Traditional, obviously, is phone call, email, text message. In this presentation, we're talking about some amazing other ways, but for this segment, I wanna talk about video conferencing. I wanna talk specifically about Apple, FaceTime, or Skype. Now, I know this might seem a little bit weird or awkward. Sean, are you telling us that we should Apple FaceTime somebody, we should Skype somebody? Yes, 100%. People are not expecting to be uh, FaceTime or Skyped by a car salesman or a BDC rep or a car dealership. They're not expecting it. The reason why there's such a low read open rate for emails or low answer in a phone call is because people are anticipating, oh, this person wants to get me to buy something and they want me to get me to spend money that I don't have, I don't want to spend, yada, yada, yada. But you're really catching people way off guard when you Apple FaceTime them or you Skype them. And the cool part about it is that there are not any rules um, for FaceTiming or Skyping compared to like text messaging, like the, the FCC's TCPA guidance for uh, guidelines for text messaging. That does not apply when it regards to Apple FaceTime. So it's like the wild, wild west. Take advantage of it. I've got dealers that are using this and they are getting engagement upon engagement and conversion upon a conversion. So I hope you love it. Bye. Okay, there. Okay, and then 
for people that don't have Apple devices, same concept you could just do with Apple on Google Duo. Listen, if you don't have access to Bradley on demand, you're missing out on crucial information. The top automotive groups like Coons, Lithia, and Norm Reeves have all used Bradley on demand to train their teams. And guess what? The world's number one car salesman, Cody Carter, shares his exclusive strategies right here. You want his secrets? You gotta have Bradley on demand. Stop waiting and start winning. Dominate your market. Click the link and get access now. Okay, now memes. You might think this is silly, but it's really not. Memes are a funny and lighthearted way to communicate with your prospect. Use them to catch your prospect's attention more than a plain text or email will. Now, again, I'm not a meme ninja, so you could probably come up with better ones. But for the presentation, I'm giving you examples. You know, so here goes, I have a very special set of skills to help you buy a brand new car. And that's a little silly, but it is what it is. Here, slaps, you know, roof of car. This bad boy will last you hundreds of thousands of miles. Uh, you're looking for the car after I give you a vehicle, walk around the features and benefits package. Like, yeah, baby. See, the idea is, think about this. The average American communicates with their friends, their family, their coworkers, you know, with people in a certain way. Okay, they email. So we should use email. They call on the phone. We should call people. They text message. We should text message. They use Apple FaceTime or Google Duo. We should use Apple FaceTime or Google Duo. Uh, they, they use memes. We should use memes. The point that, you're, that you should be seeing here is how normal human beings communicate every day with their friends, their family, their coworkers, their career. We should use every single communication medium and we're trying to sell them appointment we're trying to sell them a car okay animated gifs here's a great resource jiffy.com has tons of great gifs for you to choose from uh gifs are another fun way to communicate just about anything to your prospect and catch their attention for example send them the kermit and fozzy anim you know animated gif right here when you want them to come out and take a test drive or the girl from Nemo tapping on the glass, Jeff, if you've been waiting a while for a response. So you could use things like this when you're texting them or you are communicating with them. Um, I would use memes and animated GIFs. These are cool forms of communication. Okay. Uh, here's a couple more. That's good stuff. Trust me. <laughs> Brand new, baby. You know what I mean? And again, whether you think these are stupid or cheesy, I don't disagree. You, But you find your own that represents your personality. But the idea is what I'm trying to give you. You know what I mean? I don't care if you use this particular GIF or that particular meme. I just want you to use memes and GIFs. You've got to pick the ones that are your personality that are relevant. As long as they're you know, appropriate, I'm okay with it. Ah, uh, now this is a great one, and this is so underutilized. E cards. E cards are digital greeting cards. So as you see, you have special occasions, birthday, anniversary, brand new baby, congratulations, encouragement, friendship, get well, goodbye, good luck, graduation, love, miss you, retirement, sympathy, thank you, thinking of you, uh, wedding and engagement. I mean, Jesus, think about in, in our day to day life. How often do people tell you? about all these different things. Well, now, you know, you should, you have an opportunity to send people e-cards. You know how nice it is to get an e-card? Most of you probably haven't had one or haven't had one in a while, you know, because it just, people are so busy, busy, busy. Our job is to be in the people business. Our job is in the relationship business. Our job is in the feel good business. If we get people to like us, trust us, and believe us, they're going to agree to an appointment and they're going to buy a car from us if they're in the market. So leverage these resources. Here's some other ones right here. Okay. Thank you. You know, thinking of you happy, you know, 4th of July, because we had just passed. Right. So these are just great examples. Ah, handwritten letters and notes, folks, there, there are, there are people, internet reps, BDC reps. I'm not saying this is mass produced, you know, it's kind of hard writing things out all day long, but again, can you imagine if somebody comes into the dealership and they don't buy a car? Hell yes, I would absolutely send them a postcard or handwritten note. Maybe I wouldn't do personal handwritten stuff for just leads. But if, if, if I had somebody that it took me days, weeks, or months 
hell, even if it's just minutes, but even especially though, if it was days, weeks, or months to just get a hold of. And it took me a bunch of time to, to finally get them to commit to an appointment. And then I've had to reschedule the appointment or they canceled or whatever. And they finally showed up. And then I went through all of that and then it buy a car. Then damn straight, if I'm a salesperson or a really aggressive BDC rep, I might turn around and do a handwritten card, a handwritten note. Why the hell not? You can't lose something you never have. Now, let's just say you're like a lot of people and you have super bad handwriting. There are companies that specialize in software that makes it look like it's handwritten. There's a company called Send Out Cards. Send Out Cards looks like it was handwritten, but it's digitized. And so it streamlines the process and it's digital, but it looks exactly like it was handwritten, which is kind of cool. This is crazy. Hand, like voice memos and, and, and sound boards. Okay. I've, some of you have been my client for a long time and, and, and a bunch of you are brand new to us. What I do during the holidays is this. I'm going to get YouTube up on my screen. I'm going to put my phone on speaker I'm going to cue this up right here. This is Bing Crosby's happy holidays because you can't be religious. You can't say Merry Christmas or Happy Hanukkah or Happy Kwanzaa unless the, the person has given you that permission by, by, by opening up their faith to you. But so to be neutral and, and there's no risk, watch this. This is what I'm going to do. Hey, Tom. Happy holiday. Hey, Tom. Happy holidays. Hey, Tom, this is Sean Bradley from ABC Motors, and I wanted to wish you a happy holidays from all of us here at ABC Motors. And I wanted to tell you today is the best time to set an appointment to come in because we have this huge holiday savings. Tom? While the merry bells keep ringing. Stop. Guys, You, th th how crazy is that? You could use soundboards or you could use audio to enhance your voicemail messages. If you think about it, what is the single biggest activity that you do? Making voicemail messages. You, you like If you're making a bunch of phone calls, if you make 120 phone calls, you're lucky if you get eight to 10 people to answer you. That means the vast majority of people, like over 108 to 110 people that you call in a day are not gonna answer the phone. So that means that you might be leaving over 100 voicemails a day. Well, think about it. How many other people are leaving voicemails to that prospect? Give good voicemail. I said it. You better give good voicemail because if you give good voicemail, they're going to call you back. Just saying. Now, here's another example. There are soundboards like one of them. See this? This is 101soundboards.com. Uh, there's other ones like E-Bombs World and you could have celebrity people on there. So this is hilarious. Watch this. I want to ask you a bunch of questions. I want to have them answered immediately. <laughs> Can you imagine? Right? They're like, who the hell? You could have Arnold Schwarzenegger basically, you know, on the voiceful message. Can you imagine? I used to use this one all the time. You know, like, I'll be back. I'd have Arnold Schwarzenegger, like, I'll be back. And then I'll say, hey, Tom, I thought you said you'd be back. What happened? The Terminator gets you? You know, uh, again, and, and they would laugh their ass up and they call me back. And man, that was so funny. You had Arnold on my voiceful message. Or here's another celebrity one. You've got a deal. <laughs> uh, again, you, this is like Lego bricks. You could use this idea however you want, but I want you to understand the concept is that when you're leaving voicemail messages, you don't have to keep using the same voicemail, you know, and you're just your voice. Color outside the lines. Now, I'm just saying, don't just take this webinar and just go crushing stuff and make crazy things. I'm not saying that. I'm giving you the ideas. Everything that's in here in the beginning of the PowerPoint, I said to you, you need to make sure that you are trained on this stuff. You practice this. You've demonstrated this before you go live. Don't just look at my webinar and just try to practice this with real customers. Practice this first you know, to your friends and family or coworkers or just by yourself. And when it sounds good, then implement that into your follow-up strategy. But at least understand the concept. Gifts, I mean, again, maybe not just for leads, but especially for sold customers and, you know, uh, business development, data mining, equity mining, lease retention, things like that. Uh, again, there's nothing wrong with sending gifts. What type of gifts? Edible arrangements, flowers, food, uh, your dealership swag. If you work at a Ford store or Toyota store or Honda store, maybe it's Ford swag, Toyota swag, you know, Honda swag, gift cards. 
Uh, why would you send gifts? Birthdays, anniversaries, a death in the family, graduation. Again, I'm not saying this is for everybody and all the time, but you have options that you have uh, at your disposal. And, and again, just so you understand this, is that the dealership could choose to do this or not to do this. But if they choose to do this, they could choose to just eat the cost of this or they could pack it to the deal. What does that mean? So let's just say that you invest $50 or $60 and you don't sell the car. So the dealership lost $56. But if the dealership sold the car, they could take the $50 or $60 out of the gross of the deal and pay back the, the budget that they took for the edible arrangements or the food or the gift card or whatever it is. I mean, like, can you imagine if you want to buy a car, you're in the market and a dealership, for whatever reason, birthday, anniversary, graduation, you know, present, sent you cookies, an edible arrangement, flowers, a little gift bag, you know, gift cards. I mean, again, I would appreciate it. And look, if I'm going to buy a Chevy or I'm going to buy a Ford anyway from this Chevy store, or that Chevy store, you know, which am I going to choose? Well, this shit might push me over the edge. You know what I mean? Getting something for someone. I'm like, you know what? I talked to three different Toyota dealerships, but... ABC Toyota was the only one that sent me, you know, Mrs. Fields uh, cookies or edible arrangement. I mean, I got to buy a Toyota anyway. I'd rather buy, you know, from somebody that's really kind to me and did something kind of cool and different. Here's something else that you can theoretically do. Just an idea is Cash App, Venmo, and PayPal. Do not do this without your dealership's permission. Do not do this without your dealership's oversight. Disclaimer, disclaimer. To remind you, this is recorded. So don't do this and get me in trouble. <laughs> you know what I mean? Talk to your managers on this. But think about how crazy it is. This is something I would do only personally towards the end of the month. Why? Because the car business is a month to month business. This is when we got to get our, our numbers, our bonuses, our, you know, our metrics and stuff like that. If I'm trying to close my month out strong and I need to get more appointments, and I, you know, how do I do that? Well, I need to get more engagement. You know what? You know what's a quick way to get somebody to respond to you? Put some free money in their bank account. So you could turn around and take their email address that's attached to the lead, right? Cut and paste it and drop it into Venmo. They might have a Venmo account. Cut and paste it. They might have a Cash App account. Take the email address, cut and paste it in PayPal. They might have a PayPal. Why do you care? Because you could send them $20, $30, $50, or whatever the hell that the dealership is going to do. And why would you send them that? You could say something like this. Hey, Karen. I just sent you $20, you know, in your account so you could turn around and get lunch on me. Or, hey, Karen, I, I want you to, I want to set an appointment for you to come in, you know, to take a look at this beautiful 2025 Honda Accord. And, and look, don't even worry about the gas. The gas is on me. I just would like to see you. And now, so that in itself, being able to put money in, whether it's for a, just a gift or it's, um, you know, for a lunch or a meal or it's, uh, you know, for you know, uh, whatever is one thing, but then now you have something you could talk about in a text message, or you can leave it on a voice message. You could say something like this in voicemail. Hey, Karen, this is Sean Bradley from ABC Motors. I just want to let you know, you should check your, your Venmo account. I just sent you some free money. No, I'm not even kidding. Karen, this is Sean Bradley from ABC Motors. You sent me an internet purchase request on blah, blah, blah vehicle. And I've been trying to reach you. I couldn't reach you. So I figured I put some cash in your account. Do me a favor. After you verify, put some money in your account. Please give me a call. Yo, you have no idea how much response that gets. You give somebody a little bit free money. Or I might get creative and say something like this. Hey, Karen, this is Sean Bradley from RK Chevrolet. Uh, I know that you submitted an internet purchase request on the uh, Chevy Tahoe. I've been trying to reach you. I couldn't reach you. So I figured I'd bribe you. I put some money in your account for free. So do me a favor, go after you listen to this voicemail, check your Cash App account, and you're going to see I put some money in there. That's for you, whether you want to buy a dinner or you want to buy lunch on me or you put some gas in your car. Here's what I want you to think about. I'm putting free cash in your account, and we didn't even do business yet. Can you imagine if we work together how much money I'm going to save you? Boom. Drop mic. Stuff like that. Okay, now... Here's something that's a little bit high level and it's a little bit sophisticated, but just listen to me, okay? This is, has nothing to do with marketing and advertising. This is not trying to get new traffic. This is a very high level, unique strategy for leads that you have in your CRM that you haven't closed yet or, and or even leads that have been deaded, but let's figure out about that. Let's just focus on leads that are in your CRM right now. What you can do and only only 
with your dealership's permission, and it might not even be you, it might be a manager that does this, but here's an idea. You could go into your leads. Let's just say you, as an individual person, you have 100 or 200 leads in your file. Forget about the department, just you as an individual, right? You could, with the dealership's permission, export your, let's just say, 200 leads out of your, your um, CRM. What does that mean? That means if you export it, you remove it, it's going to be in a spreadsheet. You could take that simple 200 leads spreadsheet and upload it to Facebook's ad manager, TikTok's ad manager, Instagram's ad manager, or YouTube or Google's ad manager, and you could target those people. Wait a minute, what do you mean? What you can do is if you upload that list into Instagram or Facebook's ad manager, you could now create a display ad or you could create a video ad and something like this. Okay. And remember, this is so, so cheap to you or to the dealership because it's only like a hundred or 200 people. So this is like, it might cost like less than a hundred bucks to be honest with you, or a hundred bucks or 200 bucks. It's something cheap. But what you can do is in addition to you doing phone calls, emails, text messaging, can you freaking imagine every time your prospect that has not responded to you, has not bought a car from you, every time that they're on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, LinkedIn, or Google, or YouTube, they're seeing your dealership's videos or display ads, and they're specific. They're like, hey, you reached out to me about a car. I've got your car. You could even put their name in it. You, I mean, if you want to micromanage it or what have you, but you could have personal messages that are, uh, you could even do something like this, something like this with a video flail your arms around. And people are like, what the fuck is that? When they click it, be like, hey, this is Sean Bradley from RK Chevrolet. You sent me an internet purchase request. I've been trying to follow up with you for a couple of days, but you haven't been calling me back. I've got the vehicle that you're looking for. So please let me know the best time and number to reach you. And if you're wondering how the heck did I track you down on Instagram, I'll tell you when you call me back. Damn it. How strong is that? Strong as death. I'm just saying. Now, Let's it open up to questions and answers. First and foremost, what do you guys think about that? Is that is that a whole different perspective? It's it's not just phone calls, emails, or text messages. Hey, Mark and Drew, can you put your cameras on, guys? It's part of our, our policy at Dealer Synergy when we do these to have our cameras so we can see you guys too. But for everybody else that, that I could see, can you guys tell me? Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. Can you tell me um, what did you think about all the different ways that I just gave? Take off your mic and start talking to me. Come on. Tyler, you're first. All right. It's uh it's very engaging. It's very uh unique, especially when you brought up the things about with like Cash App and like Venmo and things like that. It it caught me very off guard, honestly, because it's like not everyone has money to dish out like that, you know. But it's like if you kind of be very calculated with how you do that, you know, if it's like a very hot lead, that could that could just pay dividends in the future oh, for you. Come out. I, I'm not saying that you have to come out of this out of your own pocket. You can do that if you want to, but you work for a multi million dollar business. I'm talking about the dealership. You know oh I mean? so, yeah think about it you know how much money the average dealership spends over sixty thousand dollars a month in advertising and, and and marketing so again we're not talking about a ton of money and we're only talking about it a certain time at the end of the month to try to increase that but this is why i do questions and answers you know what i mean mm -hmm. so I, i'm sorry to interrupt tyler is because i this is the point you heard the presentation but there was obviously just a slight bit of confusion or misunderstanding that's why we do this this interactive stuff right here hey that's drew funny. i need your camera on pretty please um, but Tyler, does that make sense what I'm saying here? But continue what you're saying. What else did you like about what I said? Uh, I really liked, uh, I think I would relate a lot more with the, like the gifts and, uh, and like the memes, stuff like that. Cause I like to laugh, you know, and who doesn't, you know, especially yeah. if say we have like, you know, people are, Larry always tells us like people are looking for like that dolphin in the shark tank, you know, and come with like salespeople or, you know, even like BDC agents. It's like, it's a very intimidating scene to be in. You kind of break the ice for that barrier with, you know, like a quick laugh, boom, like, you know, you got two feet in the door right there. Absolutely. Hey, hey guys, before I go to the next person, do, the thing that I need you to get out of this, and this is the bottom line, is that JD Power says that the average prospect is searching nine to 11 dealerships. So let's be this. What kind of franchise do you work at, Tyler? What's the store? Does Dylan CDJR. Okay, perfect. So listen, let's just take a Jeep, right? The yep. uh, Jeep's a great product, but if I'm looking at a, a, at a Jeep Wrangler, right? Technically and statistically, I'm probably not going to just look at just one Jeep store, Dennis Dillon Jeep, right? I might look at other Jeep stores, but I also might look at a Ford dealership, a Chevy dealership. 
I might look at a Nissan dealership. I might look at, hell, uh, a, a BMW dealership as well. It depends, right? So you've got to understand, folks, everybody, this is the power statement that I need you to understand. You're not the only person. And we have some people here from overseas, our, our, our call centers that are in the Philippines that are in here. Guys, you know, you got to realize that it's not just you. When somebody submits an internet purchase request to your dealership, you're not the only fish in the in, in the pond. You know what I mean? So think about it. That means that there are other people that are phone calling and leaving voice messages and emailing and text messages. How is your noise going to stand out from all those other dealerships? Well, first and foremost, like I said in the presentation, you should respond faster and better. But you know what's even better than that? Do that and do all this other stuff I'm telling you because the average dealership is not using Apple FaceTimes or memes or Cash App or Venmo or, or animated GIFs or, or things like that. Do you see what I'm saying? So again, I'm not saying do this or do that. I'm saying do what everybody else is doing, but then do everything that everybody else is not doing. Here's something that I believe in my heart. Let me take the glasses off a dramatic effect. If you want the things that the average person doesn't have, you've got to be willing to do the things the average person isn't willing to do legally, ethically, and morally speaking, always, right? So I'm not saying being shady. Here's the translation. If you want to have more success over other BDC reps or other sales reps, you've got to be willing to do the things that the average BDC rep and the average salesperson isn't willing to do because they're too stupid or they're too lazy, right or wrong. <laughs> So I have, I just have a question. It's kind of like I'm yeah, piggybacking yeah. off what I believe it was Tyler has said. So we had an instance where one of our coworkers, he has sent a gift out and they were basically like, no, don't send the gifts. We're not allowed to do it. Well, and again, that's why I said the disclaimer in the beginning, I said, any of these things you need to talk to the dealership for. Remember, I have a, a nationwide network of, of clients, more than 15 people that were on here, right? So again, there's different dealerships that have different rules for different reasons. There was a lot on there. What you've got to be able to do is figure out what your dealership is willing to do. Uh, what I would like you to do though, Sierra, is if if you can offline, and, and just, you know, just out of respect to you and the privacy of your managers, I don't want to sandbag anybody, sure. but I really, I really like your organization and I, I really respect your, your management. So, and, and again, if they have a pushback in all this, let's discuss it. You know what I mean? Let's me and you jump on a zoom that way I could understand what it is. And then we could turn around. I'm, I say, I'm like, yo, he's right. Or she's right. And, and let's choose plan B. Or if they're not sure of it, because the person that said something, said, that sent something, they might have sent something that wasn't appropriate or they didn't do it the right way. You know what I mean? So we got to seek to understand why they said no. And if it's a hard no, then it's no. Then we just use another strategy, right? But if it's because it wasn't implemented the right way or it was an inappropriate thing, then we could say, hey, no, 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 no you know, boss, that's not the way it was, you know, here's how it should be done the right way. Oh, okay. If we did it that way, then I'm okay with it. So, but in all fairness, let's do that offline from the webinar. Is that cool? But do not let me forget, uh, reach out to Franca and set up a Zoom and let her know specifically what it's about. Okay. Okay. Thank you. But did you like, the, the, you know, besides maybe the gift stuff, did you like the other idea things that I have in there? I do. I, at first, I was confused. I thought you were saying after we got them in and they made a purchase or were thinking about purchasing, we were going to do the cash app. I didn't know you were saying do it before. No. Yeah. What I'm trying to here, here, guys, you got to understand for the Internet BDC or for the showroom sales, what we're trying to do is get more people to us. We're trying to engage. If you think about this, the hardest part of Internet sales or BDC is just getting somebody to freaking respond to us. Right. That's the whole problem is that we only have a two to 4% read open rate. We only have about a seven to 8% connection ratio on the phone calls. So that I, the question, a rhetorical question is how do we get more people to freaking respond to us? How do we get more people to call us back? How do we get more people to acknowledge our existence? That's what this whole presentation is about. How can we diversify our outbound attempts? That's what it's about. Does that make more sense?
It, it definitely does, but I mean, that was what I got from it at first until you kept going. I, I didn't realize that. I'm glad you didn't get off the Zoom. I'm glad you stayed and let me finish the presentation. So, right. yeah. So, also, just to mention, I'm Sierra's sister. I'm not Sierra. Okay. I apologize. I like No, it's fine. Out. I'm on Sierra's computer. All right. No doubt. So, uh, again, um, this is why I'm so glad we had questions and answers today because sometimes I just talk and talk and talk and it's like over time and we don't have a chance to clear it up because we just cleared up two big things right here. Does anybody else have any questions or would like to share what they got out of today? All right. If you guys got value from today, can you give me a thumbs up? Mark, I can't see your thumb. So unless you have no thumbs or you didn't get value, it's okay. All right. And then Drew, I can't see anything on Drew's side. So for most of you, you guys got value. So I appreciate it. All right. Does anybody have any questions for me before I let you go about anything about these type of sources or ideas that you just got here today? Okay. Also remember in Bradley on Demand, you guys are all my clients. So in Bradley on Demand, there's elaboration on all the stuff. There's stuff on video email, video text message, text messaging, uh, phone calls, and, and things like that. So again, I appreciate everybody. Thank you so much for your time. And I look forward to the next class. Here's the codes for you to get credit for this. Write it down. It's SP16. That's SP16. If you don't know what I'm talking about, in Bradley on Demand, you get credit for, for doing all of these Dealer Synergy Academy classes. All you got to do is have SP16. Have a great day. See you when I see you. Fast response times can help you beat the dealer down the street. Get a tool that can respond to your leads in 15 seconds or less and help you book test drives 24-7, nights and weekends, so you can sell more cars. Podium's AI BDC is a conversational AI employee who sells, schedules, and talks with customers day and night and sounds like your best sales rep. Transform potential interest into sales today with Podium. Visit podium.com slash MCS to see what AI can do for your dealership. That's podium.com slash MCS or click the link in the show notes.